What up, people? It's Nick Ops here, and today I want to talk about the new tier list I've been seeing in Mortal Kombat 1. And talk about why I feel like all of them are just bad. Okay, so with the most recent patch that we received in Mortal Kombat 1, we've got the biggest patch we've seen to date. There were a lot of character changes. Some characters got whole new moves. There were some nerfs. There was some cameo changes. And it was a lot. It was the biggest patch we got around mid-April. And I was thinking about it. Of course, people's opinions on characters changed because of that. There started to be some, you know, new topics on people talking about, oh, is Kenji still one? Well, maybe Tanya's the best now. Well, Reptile's not, you know, as bad as he was before. There's a lot of things that are going to be talked about when it comes to a tier list being made and a whole, you know, big update. So I understand that. But this is what I'd be talking about when I just be like some people in the community just simply don't know what they'd be talking about. Because anybody worth their salt knows that you do not make a tier list this quick. Like, there are like five tier lists out there right now. The dang patch ain't even barely like three weeks old. There is no way you understand that much nuance out for, off of all of those characters, off of all those changes in less than a month. There is no way that people should be making a tier list that fast. That's why I think anybody who made a tier list, they did it like usually like two weeks. They did it two weeks after the patch. Most of the people, they're all just wrong. You should not be making a tier list right now. I get it. Some people only care about the YouTube views and this, that, and the other and getting their impressions and views up and all that stuff. But anybody making a tier list right now, I really, really really am telling y'all not to trust anybody who's making it because it is not time to be making a tier list even if some people feel like two to three weeks is okay even if y'all feel like that is fine for people to be making a tier list i'm gonna drop something else that makes it look really dumb to be making a tier list right now why it's really dumb to be making a tier list now we're getting a whole new assist in like a day or two from when this video is going to be posted I'm recording this on the 5th right now. In like two days, we're getting a whole new cameo added to the game. And people knew this. So without even digesting the new patch at all, people were are already making tier lists about it. And then on top of that, knowing that we're getting a whole new cameo that can completely change the way the game is played within like a month dang near after. So why not just wait? And it's not even a month, honestly. The new patch came out around mid-April, and Movado's coming out the 7th. I knew that, you know, they couldn't know that for sure, but you had to know he was coming out in May. So there was no reason to make a tier list right in two weeks when you're going to have to make a whole new one when Movado comes out. That's what I'm saying. Like, everybody's tier list right now is just bad because we don't know how Movado is going to shape the game we don't know what he's gonna do for the game so everybody that just went out of their way to make a tier list like prematurely they're all just wrong and this is what i'm talking about like you cannot trust everybody's tier list because just people like to get on you know youtube and get on you know the topic of tier list and just talk about their personal bias when it comes to it like uh, i don't like this character so this character here i don't know how i feel about this character and usually if they're playing the best character in the game they never say that the character is the best that tier list literally is people like talking about the matchups they hate for the most part and then downplaying their character so that's just what i wanted to mention in this video do not get on here and don't as a consumer of Mortal Kombat content, don't go be watching all these tier lists and taking what people say to heart when they can't even give the patch time to digest. Like, we got a whole new character added to the game. Buffs, nerfs, cameo changes. And y'all think two weeks is enough to make a whole tier list? Like, really? And we're getting a whole new character added to the game a whole new cameo added to the game within a month, less than a month. And y'all thought it was a good idea to make a tier list right now. And there's and there's many tier lists right now. I wouldn't be saying this if there weren't so many. Any 
very smart person or somebody i don't even want to say that because i ain't trying to offend the people that made the tier list but anybody who critically thinks a bit would have thought oh maybe it's a good idea to wait till movado comes out to make a tier list because we don't know what movado could do for the game movado could be absolutely great for the game he could be absolutely terrible for the game movado does look like a great cameo and talking about movado why i am so personally hyped for movado there's two main things that I'm hyped for, and it is Takeda and Mavada. I really love Takeda in 10. That was one of my favorite characters in the game, and I'm actually thinking about making a whole video talking about the strength of Takeda in MK10 and how much I liked him and kind of giving an overview of how the character plays so they can know what to expect for Takeda in MK1. So I think that would be a good idea. Let me know in the comments if y'all would be interested in me making a video like that before Takeda comes out. The reason I'm so personally hyped for Movado is the fact that he's bringing something to the game that is desperately needed, and that is a lot of ambush assists. I do feel like I've said many times that the main problem with Mortal Kombat 1 is the assist system. It's just not that fun to use because a lot of the meta assists usually aren't fun or like the main one right now chameleon like it's good but it's still a random assist there's more people that are going to prefer a rigid assist so a lot of the meta assists just don't be really fun to use in the game like even somebody like janet the most recent one they added a whole cento mechanic to the game and i made a whole rant talking about how i thought that was a bad idea but now that doesn't even matter anymore because nobody's even using the cento because the multi like flurry punch move is just better but y'all can't tell me y'all out there having fun with that flurry punch move it's like the assists are just not good there are too many assists that are not good in the game so i think that they need to change a lot of the assists. That's why I made a whole video, if you wanna go check that out, like two or three weeks ago, talking about every cameo change I feel like that's gonna be needed in the game. And I offered my suggestions for buffs for all the ones I feel like need to be buffed. But I think that's one of the biggest problems with the game, the cameo system. No, the biggest problem. They're not enough good cameos. So Movado having a bunch of ambush assists is actually very hype in my opinion. And I think that can do a lot for the game. There are obviously some characters that don't need ambush assist that much, like somebody like Johnny or Ashra or even Kenshi. There's some people that, well, no, Kenshi needs it to get Sento, but the point I'm trying to make is there's not a lot of people that desperately need ambush assist, but there are some people that do. Like a good ambush assist could completely change Baraka. A good ambush assist can completely change Scorpion. A good ambush assist can completely change Raiden. And there's not enough of them in the game. So Movado being added to the game can end up changing the whole landscape of the game. So to finally get to the point, or back to the original point, any tier list that is made right now is just not a good tier list. Because you're going to have to change it within the next two days. And then also it was too early to be making them anyway, two weeks after the biggest patch. Come on now. But that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know in the comments below. Are you hyped for Movado and everything? And also let me know in the comments what y'all think about that Takeda video idea I had. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And nigga, i out.